and welcome to Sad Old Man playing True or False with some funky music. I'm here with Robin. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Who doesn't, doesn't game. <laughs> anyway, time for some funky dance. Okay. <laughs> I could listen to what? it paused just when I didn't want it to pause. But anyway, campaign. Albert Einstein was an avid bodybuilder. <clears throat> yeah, he looks it, doesn't he? He does look like a bodybuilder yeah. with that lovely, yeah. luxurious. Well, they say you can't have both. You can't be a bodybuilder and be really clever. So our answer to this question <laughs> is based on the fact you can't be smart and good looking. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I'm dumb. Right? <laughs> So you're going false. Yeah. False it is. Please be wrong. Yay! <laughs> Why are we on question three? Okay. okay. Whatever game. There's a, yes, there is. There is. I have smelt it. Yes, that, that's... A, that's. A, okay, <laughs> that's fine. True. I will go with true. That, that was an easy one. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Chocolate fan. Woo! Chocolate fan! Olympic gold medals are only 1% gold. That is true. And 92.5% silver. I remember learning at some point in history they changed it from being purely gold to being covered in gold. I don't know if it's 1%. Well, what's the rest of it made of? Oh, God knows. Um, <laughs> chocolate coin. <laughs> chocolate coin. The rest is chocolate okay. coin. I'm going true. Okay. Yes, I have some of that. Goldfish are neither gold nor fish. Well, I'm pretty sure they're fish. Yeah, I've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had one. No, um, I'm, I'm going with that's false. false. Yeah, a fish. They're not gold. No, but they are fish. <laughs> false. Yeah. He winked, he winked at us. Did he? Yeah. I'm looking out for the wink next time. Hmm. A single asteroid can contain twenty trillion dollars worth of metal. Believe it, only because I have heard they're talking about trying to guide an asteroid into orbit of the Earth. So it's actually so that worth we so it's actually it. worth bringing one into orbit of the Earth. I don't know why I'm demonstrating an orbit. Is There's that an the orbit Earth? for you. The Earth? Earth is here. Okay. Earth's pretty small, right. and the orbit's like here. Right. But they want to bring it into orbit and then send up little rockets so just to have a little chisel at it every now and then. Or a bit of platinum, please. Yeah, that unobtainium stuff. Unobtainium. <laughs> Who's Ranium? <laughs> you I think it's true. Alright, go for it. He winked at us. Yeah. Victory! I think if we get it wrong, we don't get the wink. I don't know. Should we get them wrong on purpose? No. We're going to win this. A potato isn't a vegetable. It's a large bean. <laughs> <laughs> I so want this to be true. <laughs> no! I want it to be true. You're a potato. That is that your. It looks suspiciously like your hot dog impression. <laughs> um. False. False. Don't think about him. He winked. <laughs> hey, the monkey's starting to smile better. Oh, okay. Let's see how many we can get in a row. Let's see how long do we go wrong. King Henry the Eighth slept with a gigantic axe. See, I nearly wrote that as X, and I thought that was a bit. Uncomplimentary about it. How good would that be? You <laughs> slept with a gigantic X. Uh, I, I don't believe no. it. I mean, he might have had a little sword under his pillow. He's probably, hand like, in court, he, he's probably full of swords. But unless it bed. is true, and James Bond was based on this. Well, well James Bond sleeps with a gun under his pillow, doesn't he? Not an axe, though. Not a yeah, gigantic X. Yeah, but it was like the modern King Henry VIII. That's who James Bond is. Why didn't he have a knife? Why an axe? I don't know. So you were saying false? Yeah. So if we're wrong, it's your fault. Yeah. Because I definitely want to say true. Pretty confident that it's false. Damn it, he winked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vanilla flower blooms during only one day. I am, I'm going to be honest with you, I have no knowledge of vanilla flowers. Will it bloom again the next day? <laughs> well, it says it blooms during only one day. Otherwise, it would say during one day and the next. That sounds unlikely. Sounds unlikely, but it's a plant. Yeah, but you can buy vanilla essence everywhere. Well, that's from the vanilla pod, not the vanilla flower. Mm. Where's the pod come from? The flower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so you think false. Yeah. Do you think true? Uh, I was going to go true because it sounds silly enough to be believable. I don't know. I'm spending too much energy thinking about vanilla flour. All right, I'm going. With, I'm going to go with true. Okay. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You winked. Yes! Achievement unlocked. Vanilla flour. Vanilla flour. <laughs> Not vanilla ice. <laughs> vanilla ice. Medical errors cause over 250,000 American deaths each year. Um. I would think it. That that is sounds. That's believable. how they can support all those lawyers. Need people out there, give them jobs. I don't really want to talk about it. I think it's a subject that I don't really want to touch on, to be honest with you. Okay. I, I think it's true. Go for it. I think I think that is a sad fact, and that's just America. Mm. But they probably people pay more from biscuit debts. Apparently, five people a year or something of a similar fact die from falling vending machines. They're trying to get something out of a vending machine, and it falls on them. Darling. So you think you think true? Go for it, yeah. You we winked. <laughs> we own this game. <laughs> the Tetris theme is actually a Russian folk song called Koro Beniki. I, I can't remember the, this the is, theme tune. Uh, it's I don't know. It's not a folk song. It's just a computer generated noise. Yeah, but where do they get it from? Where did the idea come from? It could have come from a Russian folk song. Heavily modified Russian folk Oh, yeah, computerised. I'm going to be honest with you, I can't even remember the Tetris name tune. And I should. Toss. This could be our first wrong. I know. But it wasn't. Ah! Oh! <laughs> winks even when it's wrong. Well, at least he winked us. No, she wasn't. Fine. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. So when she disappeared for a month in her life, she was surfing. I like that. I this, I Barack Obama was born in yeah, Kenya. Yeah, he was. He was, was he? Yeah. You know this. Yeah. That's I he brought out the Lion King as his birth video. Did you not see that? Nope. All right. <laughs> Following. What? Oh, I'm sounding silly. He was. He wasn't born in America. That was. That's why they had such. But he wasn't born in Kenya. Koala bears have fingerprints that are identical to human fingerprints. Crime scene, bleh, crime scene experts can mistake one for the other. No. I don't believe it. They have syphilis, though. So the fact that humans have at some point slept with a koala bear is your judgement for koala bears having the same fingerprints. Well... I want to say true because... Everything I just said was saying it was false, and we've got so many wrong in a row, and I think that's a perfectly good argument for going through. Yeah, we're not at high, so... I've done it. Yes. Fist bump. She unlocked koala bears. I am a bit of a koala bear. Other than man, the elk is the only animal that celebrates birthdays. What? False. I don't think any animal celebrates their birthday, apart from humans. How would they remember their birthday? I don't know, maybe they've got a little Elky calendar. Elky calendar? Yeah. Unless it's like every year there's something to do with a, well, a natural cycle. Yeah, exactly. But they won't so, know their birthday. They don't yeah. get cake. I, I'm out. going with false. Yeah. Can you imagine an elk eating cake? I hope I can edit in a little video of an elk Blues. eating cake. What? Correct, that's false. Oh. Woo! <laughs> For a second there. there. I read that wrong. I just saw false and panicked. <laughs> I'm running out of power. I thought it was lagging. Hopefully we'll come back from lag. Lag world. In 1998, Sony released a camcorder that could see through... Clothes. No. It's not true. No. But if there was one... Then... I want it. Cheryl Cole would never have peace again. There would be masses of... Privacy. We've seen enough of show call anyway. <laughs> <laughs> For the boys out there. Uh, no. False. That was every... No way. What? How? We have to look that up. Superman, you're not special anymore. 
the Great Pyramid of Giza has yeah. four sides. Yeah. Unless they're counting the bottom as a side. Well, no, you can have a four-sided pyramid. Oh, that's true. So yeah, it's true. I'm clever. No, it's wrong. I wasn't as dumb as I thought. So what does that? Oh. Well, if it's got four sides. Is it the Aztec ones have four sides? No, Egyptian pyramids had four sides, mm. which is four sides, but the one on the bottom is technically a side. Oh. That's what I was... Uh, oh well. Unless we're just totally wrong. <laughs> Unless I'm getting that all wrong. A 46-year-old man from England found and attacked a 13-year-old kid for killing him on Call of Duty too many times. Oh. I have heard this. Yeah, well, they're fair internet rumours, aren't they? Could be true. Could yeah. be false. Could be true, could be false. Peg a bet. False. You think it's all myth? Yeah. Well, no, I can understand if they killed some like a character in World of Warcraft because they're actually worth money, aren't they? they get yeah, but people get obsessed with video games. Full stop. What's your odds? False. False. I think it's a rumor too. Oh what? my god! A forty-two-year-old man got that obsessed. To be fair with you, I have wanted to kill many a 13-year-old boys screaming at me down the other end of a microphone. Yeah, but wanting is different from carrying it out. Oh no, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Number 19. There is a tree that can grow 40 different kinds of fruit. No. Oh. <laughs> is that it? Just, just no. No, fine. What? We have got to do some googling after this. <laughs> I need to do some homework. <laughs> and the last question of this session. Paul McCartney. Go on. Sorry. Paul McCartney composed the entire melody of the song Yesterday in a Dream One Night. He was meant to be high or something, wasn't he? I don't know about that, like that. that. But Paul McCartney sounds like... A beetle. A beetle. Um... <laughs> He sounds like the sort of bloke that would claim that he composed the entire melody in a dream. I think it's true. Even if it's not true. He would have claimed it was true and therefore the public believed it was true. I don't know why I have that in my head. I don't exactly follow... So for the final funny. question... It's true. True or false? True. Come on. Yay!